think probably less than three weeks. I mean, this the, the timeline in this movie is quite vague, though. Oh, yeah, I guess maybe if you broke it down, it'd be like, was this like in the space of a week? <laughs> well, it's over the Christmas period. Well, it's definitely it's over Christmas, isn't it? That's, the, that's one of the things that I, I, I love about um, Batman. And yeah, I, I want to say DC, but I think it's mainly Batman. Batman has a, a, a holidays theme. And yeah. not just because there's there's Calendar Man and <laughs> I think there's another person who's calendar based as well. But um it's not just that. It's that like, yeah, he's he there's no you, you would you couldn't imagine a another a Marvel superhero, for example, having like a Christmas theme to them, but yeah. you definitely associate Batman with the holidays and mm. um it's a it's a it's a way that it's it's an indicator of how the way they tell the stories is different. Um and uh, I'm a big fan of it. Yeah, got to me, even to you, got, you got this I'm is to, Christmas. I'm trying to understand how how Batman is Christmas so, themed. Yeah, um, because outside of this film, I guess that. Um, there's this film, and then there's um, Arkham Origins, and that happens at Christmas time as well. <laughs> Play the damn Dark Knight Rises you've got also the... is set in the winter. It has a kind of Christmas, loads of snow and stuff. Like... And so there is the kind of Calendar Man. Which is why Batman is synonymous with Christmas time. With Christmas time. So you also get like the, you know, because the long Halloween, that comic book arc. Yes, takes every of course, issue that's the different... one I'm thinking. Yes, yes. Thank yeah. you very much for rescuing then... my, uh, <laughs> <laughs> my, my thesis there. And of course, that's when the, the biggest vil- the Batman's arch nemesis is fighting the Joker on Christmas in that arc as well, which makes it even more of like a, whoa, it's the big one and stuff. But yeah, um, yeah that was that's the other thing that uh, is definitely not actually being discussed in any studios anywhere, but people have talked about it online as a Netflix series of the long Halloween and you release the episodes on the holiday across oh, the whole good. year. Oh, that'd yeah, be that would be... Would that be? Why is that? I know they happened? are doing, they are doing a, an animated movie. Like I think it is finally getting the treatment, but like, I'm not too sure who's involved or anything, but like, I, I remember know. cause I put up about it on Facebook of like, I kind of want them to just have it out now so we can do a hiatus episode on it yes. before the next, before the season with Two Face in it. Well, no, because he otherwise, like, afterwards, I'd be like, well, I guess it still would work afterwards as well. But it's no what one we likes need to those do. animated movies anymore. What do we need to do? We need to do bonus episodes of the podcast talking about the comic on those specific holidays. Oh, yeah, that's not a bad speak idea. Speak it. That's the way to do it. Why did we not yeah. think of this before? So we got to line it up now. we got Halloween. We have to wait because the first issue is Halloween. So and we have to go you the whole year round. But I guess Start that'll be in. Now. That'll be in. with like Because I don't know if it'll be even airing the forever season in October. It might be like November when we start or something. Yeah, so yeah. It might be, well, it might be a nice way to... Well, that's not a bad idea, that. actually. It's happening. Defo, defo. It's happening. But you're saying that people don't like those coming. animated movies, Ricky. <laughs> Have you not seen yeah. Batman Ninja currently on Netflix? Because you I, should really I, check I, it out. I, is it you two who are, who are posting online about how good that is? Someone saying yes, we've good. reviewed it with Stephanie Palacino for a very long time. Mm. <laughs> I, it Much feels like, like one of those. It reminds me too much of one of these new Fifty Two stories that I hear about, where it's like Batman travels through time. In fact, that's the whole. That's exactly of what it. happens. <laughs> I, I I don't want to see Batman through travel through time. I don't want to see Batman travel through space. I want to see Batman <laughs> in Gotham being a detective. And, I uh, would yeah, normally the, agree. But this is like your. This is like you've taken a hundred mushrooms that you shouldn't have eaten. <laughs> it's it's absolutely <laughs> right. bonkers. I oh, mean, there's right. a there's a Batman commands an army of monkeys that form a giant mecha. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Say no more. <laughs> I am on board. <laughs> oh wait, sorry, that's not Batman. Doesn't Batman command the bats that form the mecha? No, the thing was that the, the bats end up covering the monkeys and the stuff The bats like that. cover the monkeys. <laughs> and they make a, a giant Batman to it's fight It's real, giant, it's a film. <laughs> like there's a giant robot Joker. And yeah. this is, oh, no, it's, it's absolutely, it, as it goes on, because you keep thinking like, oh, it's nearly done. But there's like, oh no, there's like 40 minutes left. <laughs> left. You thought that was crazy. Where do you see this? <laughs> Just keep oh, going. Right, right. Don't forget that the giant yeah. robot Joker is also his castle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's the thing. Yeah, the, the, all the supervillains have all got castles that turn into giant robots, like you know, freaking Power Rangers or something. 
But this wow. is legitimately like it's a big sword fight at the end between Batman and the Joker that's really, really well done as well. It's like proper like for an animated sword fight, it's really tense and stuff. All it's I've just, seen it's is the animation. Really it seems well drawn. Oh, no, I, I was actually so. referring to um, uh, they did um, what was the Alan Moore one, uh, the Killing Joke, oh. and didn't they do the Killing oh, Joke no. and they messed it up and they got oh, yeah, yeah. the first one they did Year One with uh, Brian Cranston in, and I thought that was fantastic. But just the casting of Brian Cranston, Cranston mm. was brilliant. And oh, he's perfect um, for that part. I think. Yeah, yeah he's got the voice. But and then I've heard that. It's good. They've got those. Oh, is he um, Commissioner Gordon? He's I Commissioner Gordon. Yeah, course. he's young mm. Commissioner Gordon. Um, it's, uh, well, it's the other Jim Gordon. It's Jim Gordon from Gotham is doing Batman, otherwise known as Ryan from the oh, OC. Really? Whatever you call that guy. Yeah, yeah. But because uh, I remember at the time, I didn't get his like. I didn't like his take when I first watched it because he plays Batman as this completely emotionless, just like just his voice is so plain and bland and stuff. But then I kind of realized, like, oh, he's playing him. Like, he's just a, a guy who's had a psychotic break and he has no emotion left and stuff. That's why he's so sterile and stuff. And I was like, oh, if you take it that way, it's a pretty interesting approach to the character and stuff. But we could be getting into that with Val Kilmer next year. You never know. Maybe that's the way you could spin his version. Save it. Save it. Yeah. Save all of it. But it's, uh... 